I will explain the distant supervision and uh, also demonstrate uh, some simple coding support to implement the distant support distant supervision actually in traditional document classification or traditional classification related to text documents we use some document collections develop a training set then apply a machine learning algorithm which generates the model we use this model with test data apply machine learning techniques and we get the results now the problem generally occurs with this part how actually most of the machine learning techniques require a set of training data and it requires human annotators to annotate the set of documents it is expensive in terms of uh, time and money if the corpus is large then several times it becomes very tough to collect the enough amount of training data to run properly run the algorithm and uh, human error is uh, another problem now to solve this issue some techniques apply a very small seed set and other approach is to use the distant supervision but uh, the plus point with distant supervision is you can generate a large training set with minimum efforts now how to do this for this we use some database like prebase info box which contains predefined relations now suppose our free base contains information like barack obama and michelle obama are married this means we have two named entities one named entity two which are related to some relation marriage so the traditional distance supervision techniques supports the concept like if other sentences contains barack obama and michelle obama then it may be related in the same corpus then it may be related to the term marriage or it may be a positive example for the term marriage however it may be noisy now there may be some another example like uh, suppose uh, we have uh, one free base data related to some physics and particular particle family it contains the information like boson the description is in quantum mechanics boson is a particle that follows bose einstein theory so according to this description boson and bose einstein theory when it comes together we can relate it with class like quantum mechanics or all such occurrences of description will supports the class or relations like quantum mechanics similarly suppose we say that a city like uh, new delhi is a capital of country
India. Then relation is capital. So this is a class. So all the sentences which will contains the country India and city New Delhi will be considered as a favorable example for capital. But what are the benefit of taking such information and uh, using these informations to generate the training set? Actually, when we take this example considered as a named entity one, this India as a named entity two, then we will have some information in the middle in between two, these two entities after India second named entities and before the first named entities we can use this information to identify in which cases or textual dependency a particular city may be capital of any country or a particular city may be capital of any state So major motivation here is to collect this part information related to this part by using the initial seed given in the free base or uh, info box related in info box type of information base. Now how the system work? So based on such relations we can collect all the examples given in any corpus or our supported corpus now all these collected example will only support positive class with no IC information now the challenge is how to reduce the noise information and uh, how to apply generate a final training set to that to achieve this we manually annotate negative examples and add them with our collected data set for example here negative examples may be the sentence sentences which may contains a particular city and a particular country but not as a capital not the city is a capital of a particular country or not that city is a capital of a particular state so this may be a negative example we will calculate identify the middle information left window information and right window information for all those negative examples and after that we have a initial training set with positive and negative examples plus some noise so we will use some either we can use some regression based classification technique like uh, a multi-class logistic regression technique regression with L2 normalization or we can use any other classification technique also in this case our classification technique will take input as entity pair 
and feature vectors. Now we will discuss what is feature vectors. Actually, these feature vectors contains two type of features in the form of left window, middle and right window. These features may be like word between entities between named entity 1 and named entity 2 before that entity and after that entity order of named entity and dependency path between the entities like how named entity 1 and named entity 2 is related through some dependency parser relations We can use a Stanford dependency parser to identify those relations and we can also identify some relations like uh, parts of a speech tags presents between those entities uh, before that entity and after that entity. So these are the feature vectors. These feature vectors contains the information that in which cases two entities may be related through a particular relation like uh, New Delhi and India is related to a relation class capital and here output returns the relation name and confidence score based on the probability of the entity pair belonging to that relation. So after generating this uh, class we will provide input as a named entity and feature vector as input and based on that input it will provide uh, some this uh, this is actually our uh, initial training set positive and ex negative example with some noise and then we will provide named entities and uh, surface features and syntactic features as input and then it will generate it will identify that how two named entities like named entity 1 and uh, named entity 2 are related to a particular relation So this will be end with this some probability score. We can take uh, sufficiently large set of such input and uh, get the classification score. Now this will generate our real training set. And in this case, we will take higher probability score. For example, if instead of using multi-class logistic regression, if you are using SVM or SVM based classification, then we can use uh, all classifications accuracy greater than 0 0.6 uh, or 0 0.7 as a strong classification. And all such strongly classified positive and negative examples can be treated as training set. Now how to use this training set? To use this training set, we will take uh, some test uh, instances with entities and their feature vectors and then actually here also in the named entity 1, 2 and relations with probability score we will also preserve its uh, surface features and syntactic features with classific class 
and we provide same information for test data and the classification system will give you the class for the data now the implementation part the main part of the implementation is actually the entire discussion i have gone through simple named entity relation extraction so in this in this part the major task is to extract the named entity we can use stanford named entity extractor to extract uh, identify all named entities next part is to extract the surface feature to calculate the surface feature or extract the surface features we can easily use a simple programming to identify the order or words between those surface words between those uh, named entities and to identify the syntactic features like uh, stanford dependency parsers or pos taggers you can use the code uh, given in our website how to write code for uh, stand for dependency parser to generate the dependencies and uh, for pos tags also and uh, for classification if you are using sbm based classification then uh, you can use uh, our codes from for classification i have used uh, libsbm based classification library to implement all sbm based classification so all the details are given here thanks